All right, man. So now that, damn, my bad. Now that we finished taking down Kupka, we're probably gonna do some boring ass missions after. So it's probably another made episode, guys. I'm sorry, but it's gotta be done. Jill, school Jill. Clive, you're back. I am, and with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. Yes, sir. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. <laughs> One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. Hell yeah. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. <coughs> cool. so, excuse me, excuse me. Word on the royalist movements since I've been away. Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? Nope. If you really want to know. Go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. All right, Vivian, what's going on? What's, what's going on out here? Ah, the conquering hero returns. <laughs> and with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Yeah, we just fought a whole ass guard. Well, the here. fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica Suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists, he took them to his grave. As did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waluda's must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? No. One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Let's check it out then. Pull that, whip it out. Ew. Let's see. <laughs> the kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the <laughs> dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. Damn. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? That should be a pretty tight fight. In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. 
If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all <laughs> in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Yep. Hugo Kupka is dead. Yes, The man. wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Oh, damn. Tell them that those wounds that might finally life. begin to heal. She's still talking? Damn. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. What can I say? I am only human. And we are... All of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. If we had to go to individual people and tell them that we killed Kuku. <sighs> <clears throat> hey, I killed Kupka. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked by goblins. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but... <sighs> this was days ago. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this. What they escaped and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. I understand. Let's hope their training is enough to see them safely home. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to beat this fucking game. Oh shit, we need not to talk to her. Damn, never mind. My bad. <laughs> the icon just looked like it was on top of her. Let's go tell Sharon first because I want to get a new sword, hopefully. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Karen. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. And what can I do for you? Coin purse weighing you down. The enhancer? Ooh. I'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? Let's go see what it looks like. Mm, I don't like. I don't like the thin look. I like the. I like this one. Of a blacksmith, Hippocrates. Or Blackthorn, my bear. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kuka is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. This is it then. Uh, a new beginning. Under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Nice. Who's next? Hippocrates.
Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Cooker is dead. He... Oh, my. Can you really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> And with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. You're going to tell them twice, really. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. Like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Respect. Respect. <clears throat> it means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Send me to Odin, bro. And Bahama. Let's go for it. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. You go cook. Barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading your word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Oh my god. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers. Trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Wait, is Mid Sid's daughter? There's no way, right? See, I told you, it's another Mid episode. Is he a helpless romantic? Damn. When it comes to boyish charm, Goots has an indomitable rival in Gal. One is the sweet little babe in arms to be cooed over, the other the naughty little boy who'd pull on my pigtails. Okay, I'm gonna let you do yourself. It's gonna make you thinking about a lot. I think Mid might need some help. Come up with something soon. All right, Clive. What do you want? 
I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. She's building a ship. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, Gather all of the parts. parts the sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. Oh, Blackthorn. He'll okay. know what to do. But we're still running errands. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Oh, let's go collect these damn things. I'm not gonna say anything else because I already know I'm just gonna be me complaining about these missions. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna entertain y'all with the same slander that I've been making. chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. What the fuck? Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will ya? Alright. Damn, she's putting everyone to work. So Lid's roped us all in here again, hasn't she? <laughs> Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh... What is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. <laughs> They're all trying to be done. 
Okay. What the fuck? I just spoke with him. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is... Gav? Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this Stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off out at Paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Alright, let's go collect these materials. Make for the river south of Alcroy. Where the fuck is that? Ah, fuck. Welcome home, Sid. <laughs> Didn't know you had that. <clears throat> Make for the river. Can I kill these birds? Looks like I found the river. <laughs> Where's Gav? Oh. <gasps> Did he get his chocobos? Around here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dallamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Are we racing? No, he's not even fucking coming. So this is Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. We're just picking yeah, we're just picking up sand. getting on. You're 
finished? <laughs> How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Here, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? But what? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? What do you mean by that? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to. And I'll keep going. Yeah, if Gav dies at any part in this game, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm right. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go. Oh, I plan to. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. All right. Right. Ready to go home, boy. Let's go, Togo. Hopefully that's the only fetching mission, and then we take her to the grave, and then, you know. Because now there's three acts. Still We're still in act two. This shit's got to be ending soon. go out on maneuvers together more often. You're beat sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. <laughs> Thank you, Blackthorn. I like I'll straight up Blackthorn. I'll admit no construction's underway. Oh no. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Everyone's so nice here, you know? You gotta give us a dick. Just like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. He cracked my crystal too. Pull back to mid. I like how no one, either, that too, like no one's tripping that we destroyed the crystal. Like they're like, no, you're gonna go there only to kill Koopka, nothing else. I was just like, hey, bro, that shit was right there. I killed him, destroyed it. Easy. That guy scared me somehow. I don't know if you guys saw me jumping. 
You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there will give you all details? What's the name? Right. Is that her name? What's her name? Oh, Helena. Okay, that's what I'm to say. Oh, hey, she's still branded. Is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. In other words, oh, shit. the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence mm. there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Alright, so I guess the errand is not going to be that bad, but we'll see. So I can do it. 